Hey guys, Richie from Fret Junkies and we are back. Really excited to bring you this video today. Something a little bit different, probably something that's a bit more closer to my heart um, in terms of my personal taste and what I actually like. We're going to be looking at can we turn a normal guitar into a baritone guitar. Um, I've had baritone guitars and I love them, but once you have a baritone guitar, that's all that baritone guitar can do. And to me, they felt a bit too big and a bit too clunky. So I had a guitar that um, a builder had made me a few years back. This gorgeous instrument. We're going to have a quick little look at it now. Um, like I said, this was built for me a little while back. Uh, this is 001. And I kind of put it to sleep for a while. I did start learning slide on it, to, tuned it to some slide tuning and put heavy strings on it. from a guy called Seth Lee Jones on Instagram, check him out, he's amazing. Um, I copied this string gauge, put them on there, and um, of course, yeah, it, it played terrible and it was too high, and by the time I got to the 12th fret, it was all over the shop. Um, so all I've done, in a nutshell, and I'm no guitar tech as such, is I raised the saddles to make sure it didn't buzz, and intonated it the best I could. Um, just by moving these saddles up and down. All the info you could want is on the internet about these um, and how to internet. And I'd done nothing to the nut. I had read that you'll need to do lots to the nut, but I'd, I'd done nothing at all to the nut. I've not changed that in any way. And, and I've had no problem. The action now, or then, sorry, with the other strings on was, was extremely difficult to play anything other than bottleneck. So I was looking at baritone guitars, and I, I love that sound, man. I really love that deep, swampy sound. Incredible, incredible to kind of vibe to. And I thought, I might try and turn this into a baritone. How much work does it actually take? Well, I ordered a set of 17 to 64 strings um, and strung the guitar up. And it worked. It, it's, it's working. I'd already done, I guess, a lot of the work when I changed the strings previously, but can you just turn a normal guitar into a baritone guitar? Certainly, definitely, I have. Um, it does take a little work down here, and I'm sure the neck might need adjusting, but I, am, I haven't touched the neck on this. Uh, the action is, I don't know if we can see that there, very high though, but with the high action comes like a really beautiful resonance, uh, which is which is something very special. So I've been really enjoying this, and um, I wanted to share it with you. If you've got a guitar that you've got around that kind of is the one that you leave around the house and you don't really do a lot with, and it's almost like a second or third guitar even or whatever, you should try this, man. Um, for something a bit different, you should definitely try it. I went to Strings Direct ordered 1764 um, strings and pit them on. I had done the previous work, as I mentioned, which was just raising the saddles. It's all on the internet, it's easy, don't be scared by it, guys. And now it works and it sounds amazing and plays the same, apart from the action, as, as a normal guitar. Um, so we're gonna look a bit deeper into it and we're gonna show you some tones. Um, I'm gonna play straight through the A1 with amp tremolo, nothing else. I'm gonna slam the preamp, we're gonna ramp the volume up, uh, preamp volume up, master volume down, and we're going to give you some amp tremolo and we're going to see how that sounds. Let's do it.
Okay, man. So to me, that's just such a killer, killer tone to get lost in. Um, it makes you approach things a little bit different, given the tone. And because things sound different, it's almost more interesting to play. Those old same riffs suddenly have got a new lease of life to them. And, um, and you're looking for more double string kind of pinches. And there's just a lot can be done, but it's really cool. Um, I really enjoy it. I, I, like I said, for playing on your own and vibing out and like that, that transcendental kind of music, it, it's amazing. This is staying the way it is. I absolutely love this. Um, we're going to plug her in now into my paddleboard and, um, and we'll see how that sounds. I'll, uh, I'll show you how the, the signal, the pedal board at the end, so make sure to stay tuned to the end and we'll have a look at what I'm running, okay? Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I'm probably gonna play for there again. Let's listen to how it sounds. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, the channel's growing really nice now, starting to get up a little bit of momentum. I put a lot of work into these and I appreciate every single one of you being here. Um, we've got something very special coming. I've got a delivery of a pedal that has been like holy grail for me um, that should be here imminently. So as soon as that thing touches down, I cannot wait to share it with you because I'm pretty sure I cannot find much of it online, even though it's a highly coveted pedal. Um, so yeah, I feel like I fell in the bit of the grail and I want to share it with you. Uh, as always, this is Richie from Fred Junkies. Thank you for being here. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share where you can. Spread the good word and help me grow. Peace.